going on everybody how's everybody doing this friday uh or it must might be saturday for you guys whoever's watching or whenever this gets uploaded um sorry about not posting a video last night uh, i did have uh, i had my uh wisdom teeth pulled actually last night so uh, i'm surprised that i can actually actually speak today too um since i had them pulled last night so i'm doing pretty well i'd say I'm not too much pain, uh, haven't had too many T3s or any of that stuff uh, for a few hours, which is good, so I'm good to drive, which is nice. Uh, I should have to go left here, is it going to right? Um, but yeah, how's everybody doing? Everybody's, everybody's excited for the weekend that's coming up. Uh, so far, with us, it's been nice out here today, actually. Uh, we had a big dump of snow a uh, big dump of wet snow too uh, a few days ago uh, and it was just so surprising and people just forgot how to drive when that snow comes down uh, so that was a bit of a pain in the ass but it's all good now it's plus 15 degrees outside right now which is really nice because you gotta enjoy the weather really uh, whenever it's usually warm uh, or I even mean, if it's just raining you know what if I can't get out I'll go out maybe go for a drive or two we'll um, uh, pretty much go for a minute you know make a video for you guys talk about a few things uh, well, you can now find me on uh, my Facebook page as well uh, if you look up uh, facebook.com slash uh, Ben's vlog I do believe that's what it is <laughs> I don't even remember my site anymore uh, but you can even find me from the YouTube channel as well so uh, but yeah, you can find me on there now, which is awesome. Uh, so I'm starting to get, get more serious into it. Uh, and uh, hopefully start posting better videos and uh, go from there. Uh, so one thing I want to talk about today is... Um, I got this topic actually from a friend of mine. And uh, I was just trying to get ideas, you know, what would you guys like to hear? And uh, what would you guys like to tell? What would you guys like for me to talk about and my opinions on everything? Um, and the one girl brought up uh, gay rights, actually. I was like, you know what, that's actually a really good topic. Uh, since I have a few friends who are, which are gay, um, gay, lesbian, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and what is what are your guys' opinions on that? You know, what do you guys think of gay rights? Uh, personally, myself, you know, uh, I'm all for it, you know, I like women, so that, that, that that's, <laughs> that's to myself, you know, uh, I like girls, whatever, if somebody likes guys, if a guy likes a guy, if a guy likes another guy, if a girl likes a girl, whatever, you know, it's, it's, it's to each their own, um, and uh, I don't see what's the, so such a big deal, uh, like, what's the big deal nowadays where if you see... Uh, there's gay marriage or whatever. I don't see the. Uh, I don't know what the heck that. What, what, what do you even call it? You know, I don't see. Well, like I don't get what the heck the big deal is and the problem people are having with gay marriage, gay rights, whatever. You know, they're still human beings, right? They're still people. They're just like you and me. Um, and honestly, I think the best person that says this is, uh, that the best answer for human rights is is uh, in a comedy. I, uh, stand-up comedy actually by Aziz Ansari and what he did is like you know what what's the big deal about people and gay rights you know uh, it doesn't harm you what they're doing it doesn't harm let's say it doesn't harm me if my buddy goes marries a guy or a friend of mine goes a girl who marries another girl what's the big deal you know it doesn't affect me you know here what he says you know um, if you see like if you see gay people, gay people around you or gay marriage you know React to it like black people react to magic. <laughs> Walk away seven steps, turn around and yell, it's amazing, it's amazing, it's amazing. <laughs> That's the best way to react to it. Uh, and then honestly, you know, if everybody react, reacted like that to uh, to gay people, to gay marriage, gay rights, we would honestly have a much better world, right? Um, I guess let's have a bad bit of backstory to this. Um, actually, one thing I just noticed is I just in this little clip part I said you know a lot and I said I'm a lot nice um, but yeah so the whole backstory about this is 
I didn't grow. I didn't grow up in. I, I didn't grow up in Canada. Well, I grew up in Canada. I didn't grow up in Canada. Uh, I grew up in Europe, and back there, I grew up in the old school society. I was technically born uh, in the USSR, um, and uh, I was born in there. But I never really um, grew up in there. Really, uh, of course, you know, I have parents who believe that stuff, uh, especially when they used to live there, and even when they first came here. Uh, and I'm sure as of any people who came from Europe or anywhere in the world, not even just Europe, let's say Asia, US, whatever, um, the older generation, maybe even the newer generation as well, but uh, they always saw marriage or rights as like male and female, that's it. There was no, uh, there was no, there was no gay marriage in general whatsoever. Uh, maybe there was, but we never knew about it. Uh, but it was always, uh, I guess people say it was a sin. If a guy marries a guy, or if a girl marries a girl, or if you have feelings for a guy to a guy, whatever. Uh, that was always a sin back then, I guess. And some people still believe it that way. Uh, I personally think when I do, did, did grow up, I never thought about that because I was never introduced to that. Uh, I never even knew that what gay was until uh, I came to Canada and uh, uh, people said, this, people started making cracking jokes like, oh yeah, you're gay, you're gay, you're gay. I'm like, what are you, what the hell does that even mean? Like. I don't even know what that even means, or I don't know what you're calling me, so I don't take any offense to it. Uh, so that there was that. Uh, then um, uh, once I actually learned what that is, and I was like, kind of like, yeah, yeah, you know, don't call me gay, whatever. Uh, why are you calling me gay? I like I like women, I like girls, whatever. That's when I was a kid. Uh, so I think we all go through those phases where you you, you don't want to be called you don't want to be called gay, right? Uh, because you think it's offensive. But whatever, you know. Let's not even get into that uh, part of the topic. Honestly, it's it's uh, for a lot of people. It's such a, such a touchy subject uh, that some people already want to listen to it. But you know, I brought this up um, uh, because I, you know, when I came uh, to Canada, I got introduced to all this and that. And uh, I think if I lived uh, back to where where I was, uh, I still would have. Uh, Either never been introduced to uh, to the gay world, I guess. Or like, I never would have seen the gay marriage or any of this stuff. Um, but I, th- I honestly think that when I saw this, I, I got enlightened. And uh, of course, when I was growing up as a kid here, I was in junior high, high school, whatever. Uh, I didn't like gay people because it was just you know, you're you're a kid, you think of it this way, and you're like, oh god, I'm not gay, I don't want to be gay. Uh, I'm I just like women, whatever. And that's it, you know, if you call me gay, that's offensive, and this and that and that. That's that's how I think most people grew up nowadays, and that's how, well, from my point of view, I think that's how we'll, what most of us think. Um, but here's the here's the thing where uh, I changed my mind, you know. When I started uh, maturing more and growing with age, uh, I came to the part where I was like, you know what, what's the big deal? You know, if, uh, if there's gay guys in the world or there's gay girls, What's the big deal? You know, it doesn't affect me. You know, I I go how I want to go. I like I like girls. I like girls. That's it. You know, if I meet somebody who who likes the guys, or if I meet a, like a friend who uh, who's a guy and he likes guys, he wants to get married, married to a guy, or he's dating a guy. Big deal. It doesn't affect me, does it? No, it doesn't. I have another friend in my friendship. So there you go. Big deal. Um, <laughs> the plus about that is a lot of guys uh, gay guys are stylish, so it's a win-win, right? Um, I know gay guys who are stylish, and I can take a few cents away from them for both style, which is awesome. Uh, but here's the thing is, um, where my whole, um, I guess, thought process, process and everything changed is, even I think, even when I was in uh, high school or even when I was in college, I was still, you know, I was like, you know, yeah, whatever, there's gay people in the world, there's gay guys in Edmonton, whatever, there's people I know who are gay cool whatever no big deal I don't want to talk about this and that um, but I started at uh, my new job about two years ago now and I got thrown into work and I was awesome I was having fun and uh, I was getting trained uh, for a while on this one site now uh, in the site downtown and uh, the guy who I worked with he was a senior desk site analyst um, and uh, you know he, he, he's a, he was a cool guy he's an awesome guy uh, we got along well and as guys, as guys, I was like, you know what? Let's 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 uh, let's be friends and uh, let's crack jokes. So we always crack these jokes. We always crack 
uh, gay jokes, women, like womanizing, womanizing jokes. No offense to anything I say. Um, every joke. Ooh, that's a Tesla. Tesla Model S. Ooh, that's nice. Hopefully, you guys will be able to see that on video. Maybe we can catch up. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely. You know what? We were we, we became close friends just like you know what by cracking these jokes. And I was I was you know I was a new person there, so I got along fairly quick with everybody there. But with this this guy, um, he he was training me all the time, and every single time we like you know we, we would crack jokes, we'd be like, oh, the, 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 that's what she said, or like, oh, hey man, that's gay, or this and that, and this and that. And I was like, no, we're acting like normal guys, whatever. And we're just always kind of cracking these jokes. And then one day, he comes into work, and uh, Tesla, you guys might, might be able to see it right here. Oh uh, yeah. In this dark green color too. Oh yeah, so <laughs> back on topic. Um, so he came into work one day and uh, we're, we're working together and whatever. And I see he walks in and he has a, a ring on his finger. Uh, but it wasn't, and, and I'm, I automatically assumed it was an engagement ring or something of that sort. But I was like, no, he never talked to me about uh, a girl he was dating or anything like that. Or I was like, uh, I'm not gonna ask, you know, I'll keep an eye on it or whatever. And then I'm not sure how it came about. Maybe I asked or what, but he told me he mentioned to me. He was like, he was like, hey man, you can check out this ring, whatever. And the guy, I think he said, said, no, I got, I got engaged to my partner, and it was so awesome. I was like, so I congratulated him. And then like probably like 30 seconds later, I was like, in my head it clicked. He said partner. I was like, oh shit. And I like right on the spot. I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry about cracking all those jokes, yo. I'm, Unbelievably sorry, so sorry, blah blah blah. I'm so sorry about cracking these jokes. You know, I couldn't, I can't imagine I was cracking all these gay jokes around you. That's when I found out he was gay. I was like, oh my god, I felt terrible, absolutely terrible. Uh, but I was, but you know, but he, 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 he's cool, he was cool. He told me, that, you know, he, he's like an old guy, you know, and uh, he didn't care, you know, people crack their jokes, he didn't take offense to it, he'll crack their jokes with me too. Um, and that when it, that's when it really clicked in my head, I was like, you know what. I knew this guy for like four or five months. We were good friends. We chilled at work. We uh, we had same interests, whatever. And I never once did not like him as a friend. I never once thought that he was gay. That never clicked into my mind until he mentioned that he had a partner. And so that brings me to the point of why, like, why would you put down somebody who is gay or who has a different interests in guys or girls or women? Uh, whatever like th that just brings it to my point you know I spent almost let's say half a year training with, with, with uh, this guy and then I found out he's gay and it still didn't change anything about how I uh, saw, saw my buddy and I was like what so I don't get nowadays is what's the big deal about gay guys what's the big deal about gay women uh, it doesn't affect you it didn't affect me and I still work with this guy I'm still good friends with him uh, and here, and the thing is, is I am even going to be I'm part of his wedding party uh, for his wedding. So that's even better. And I was like, you know what? He asked me. I was like, dude, I'm so excited to go. I never been a part of a gay wedding. And to me, I'm not even, you know, people are gonna say, oh my god, it's a gay wedding, cool, or oh my god, you're going to a gay wedding? That's retarded. It's gross. It's like, you know what? Shut up. It's a wedding. Is a wedding. You know, my friend's getting married. He's gonna be happy. That's all that matters. And I honestly think that people who well, who watch this video or people out there in the world. If you, like, I don't even know how to even alliterate this stuff or how do you say this stuff properly, but if you see a gay person or there are other gay people in the world, they're just normal people. They have a different interest in, in other people. Like, I have interest in cars, somebody might have interest in bikes. Okay, cool. I have interest in women, the other person has interest in men. Big whoop! What's the freaking big deal? I don't see what's the this massive deal that's happening in Europe and Africa and US where oh my god gay people are the sin gay people are, shouldn't be here they can't they have no rights whatever they should be thrown to jail they should be burned it's like what the hell is wrong with, with this society they're normal people they have different interests that's all it is big deal what's the big deal I just don't get it they don't affect you in any way do they do like if if you see a gay guy in the street does he uh, what's it called affect you go you affect you going to work does he affect your boss crossing the street? Or does he affect you go, going to Starbucks and getting a coffee? No, there's no freaking affection. There's no 
problem with these two, with, with gay guys or gay women or whatever, with gay people in general. I just said gay people in general. And so I don't get why there's protests and stuff saying, oh, no, gay marriage. It's like, okay, what's the big deal? Is this guy who's getting married to another guy, is he taking away your partner, even though you like women? So there's no, there's no problem, there's no connection there. So I don't see what this whole problem all over the world is. Uh, honestly, I think uh, what people should take away from it is don't think of gay people as whatever you want to think about. They're normal people. They're just like my friend. They're just like your friends. They're just like everybody else. That's all they are. It's, they're people are people. They're exactly the same if they're gay, if they're straight, if they're metrosexual, or if they're yeah, I guess metrosexual is technically straight too, I guess, or whatever you want to phrase it, or if they're, they're bi. Doesn't freaking matter. A person's a person. That's all it is. It, the same thing goes to uh, racism. You know, I'm I'm sure everybody here is. Uh, everybody in the world is racist to a point. I'm I'm I'll I'll, I'll admit I'm racist to a point. Uh, but I'm not racist to the point where I'm like, oh my god, okay, you're black or you're you're brown or you're whatever or you're you're Asian. You shouldn't do this or like or you you can't work here because you're black or uh, you do like you sell drugs because you're black or or whatever the heck it is this is the, <laughs> the stereotypes i know are mostly fall in that care and, and mostly fall in that category but i was like you know what big deal racism gay rights there shouldn't be any people are people they might have different still uh, skin color they might have a different eye color they might have a different tone of voice they might have different interests big deal people are people grow up and get a, and get into the society where there is no freaking gay people. There is no wait, look, let me rephrase that. There's no gay people. There's people. There's gay people. There's straight people. There's bi people. There's black people. There's Asian people. Whatever you want to say. There's just people. So get with the program and stop freaking wasting your time on freaking creating and making these processes and uh, going out of your way and going out of people's way to lobby saying gay people shouldn't have the right to marry, they shouldn't have the right to vote, or uh, black people shouldn't reside here, or Asians shouldn't be able to come to this country, or brown people should stay there, or whatever. Grow up and deal with it. People are people, everybody's the same. And that's, that's, that's honestly, it's my rant for the day. You know what, I think that that subject was going to be as touchy as I thought it would be, but uh, just talking about it, I was like, you know, it's just, it's, it's crazy how people think about it nowadays. But, you know what? Give me your honest opinion. What do you guys think? Gay rights uh, and uh, different types of people. And what do you think of racism? What do you think the world's coming to with how people act these days and this and that? So, um, But, yeah. Let me know. You guys have a, have a good night. Have a good day. Whatever you're having. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, comment the video. Yeah.